<laughs> just wanted to share with you guys some crazy experiences that I've been having, or just, just one experience, one of a few that I've been having lately, but I'll share this one with you. Um, I've been trying to exercise uh, the use of my conscious mind, like the the muscle, if you will, of of utilizing my conscious mind. Um, so among the things I've been doing, or this one actually just kind of arose as um, an opportunity to, I don't know, get test myself in that realm, so to speak. Um, but I came across a news article, and let me see if I can try to reverse this real quick here. So a local, my local Fox uh, posted this um, on their Facebook and I came across this on my news feed um, and they were just trying to look for help to identify um, a young woman who had passed away and this was a tattoo that she had on her leg and you know so I clicked on it I'm, I'm kind of into that kind of morbid stuff <laughs> you know. And I was come across this comment, and the comments like, "Bless her soul. Hopefully, a medium or someone will come forward to help." And you can see I even like hearted the comment. Um, so yeah, it's just a a way I thought maybe I could, I don't know, exercise my subconscious and do like I don't know if it was remote viewing or just try to tap into my subconscious energy and see if I could get some information about this young woman. This news article also showed pictures of her belongings like her necklace and her bracelet and I just remember looking at them and just being like these are yours you put them on every day you know just reach down and grab your necklace these are yours and I put myself in that frequency. And from there, I just decided to write down what I felt and what came to me. And I didn't write much, to be honest. Mostly it was just kind of doodling. And I wrote the symbol. Um, and I was shaking. Like, this is not my normal handwriting. I was just meditating and shaking. Um, and I wrote Dahlia or Dharma. I was really getting a D and an H really strong and an A sound. I just kept saying A sound, and this was the um, her zodiac symbol that was on one of her necklaces or her jewelry that she was wearing. So I would show you some of this other footage, but it's been deleted. Um, but so there was a couple of these threads that were asking the public to identify this body, and like I said, I kept getting an A sound. I kept thinking a, a D. <coughs> And an A sound very strongly, and and when I closed my eyes and and tried to imagine the name, I kept seeing D and H, and I kept hearing an A sound, Daya, Daya, Daria, Dharma, something like that. So I mean, that's that's what I wrote down. I wrote down, uh, this is oh yeah, this is all reverse anyway. Um, <laughs> you see the page. I wrote down Dahlia, Dharma. Um, and a cousin gets on one of the threads and she says, you know, this is, this is my cousin. Um, we're going to go and identify the body officially, you know, the next day, which was, that would have been yesterday, I believe. Um, but she says, no, this is she, this is my cousin. She shows a picture, which I actually downloaded. All of this has been deleted, but she shows a picture of, um, of the young woman. And she's, she's referring to her as Anna. Anna, um, we're so heartbroken. My sweet Anna, my sweet Anna. Anna or Anna. Um, and I get this distinct like vibe in my own spirit I guess is how it felt it basically was just like okay so it's Anna or Anna and I did I did say um the a sound um that I remembered ah eh, or ah so I don't I don't feel wrong 
but I did have this distinctive like D and H, D H. Um, so when I heard Anna, I was like, okay. And my spirit just kind of iterated to me in my own voice, like, just wait, wait till you get the full name. Like that'll be your your confirmation. Wait till you get the full name. And so, uh, hold on. So this morning, this morning, so this was because yesterday was when the cousin came forward and said, you know, and identified as Anna, but the news had not officially reported it until, I think, I just looked this morning, maybe they, maybe they announced it yesterday, I don't know, but this morning I go and look and there is a full name in the news report. So, um, Anna or Anna Maria Daher or Dare. I feel like I was pretty accurate for that to be like my first time really trying to do something like that. Um, a couple of things have happened. One is, uh, I feel like I've like opened up the floodgates, <coughs> excuse me, to some energy where I keep hearing, I honestly, it, it's, it sounds like my own voice, but it's a feeling so much of, I'm so fucking, like, I'm so fucking sorry. That's what I keep hearing. I'm so fucking sorry, and that wasn't what I was trying to do, um, is what I hear. And my maternal energy is really upset by that because I can just feel the circumstance. I don't like I don't know how to describe it. It's not like I'm feeling like a circumstance of what happened and I feel like she was doing better with something. You know, I already got information, you know, from the internet about her addiction. Um and I don't know, I feel the energy. The energy feels like she was doing better and she made a decision that was poor. And this is a result of that decision. And while I keep hearing how sorry she is and how she didn't mean to do it, I guess there is a part of me that believes that we're all just part of this bigger energy. And I guess I feel like her part did make a choice the day that she died not like this was a suicide but more that this was an exit um that at least the universe had some intention behind it I don't know I just I gotta be so careful if I'm gonna if I'm gonna publish this I don't want to offend anybody but it's hard to explain um it doesn't feel like a suicide. It definitely felt like an overdose, but it felt like an overdose as a result of some very real choices and decisions. Um, and in turn, this loss of human existence, um, which is not a loss of that energy. That energy is still very much there. And in my head, to the point where I'm like ready to fuck burn sage I'm ready to eat sage but um yeah she's sorry she wasn't trying to kill herself she just made a bad decision but the decision that she made the turn of events will spark something amazing um and she'll see it too she'll know that that uh She feels really bad for hurting people. For being careless and hurting people. But something beautiful is going to happen. Someone's response to her, to the loss of this life, loss of life, which again, I don't really believe that, but someone's response to this is going to be breathtakingly beautiful and earth-shatteringly earth-changing. So, 
so may it be so, you know.